Mr. Dawson Corner. This bill is very welcome so that vulnerable adults can be cared for in their decision making process. The original Act was very difficult for families to navigate in order to support their vulnerable family members. This bill ensures that vulnerable adults are protected uh, from coercion and abuse when making important decisions. I particularly welcome that a person's uh, previous preferences are considered. The views of individuals named by the person are also taken into account. I understand that it is designed to support them. I particularly welcome the appointment of a decision-making assistant agreement which allows uh, someone to have a trusted person as their assistant. In the past month, I have had a number of long-term care facilities who are very upset that their service users are being put under undue distress due to banking protocol. People in an intellectual disability setting who are in the care of the state received letters from the Social Protection. The letter stated that their payment is currently going into an Ulster bank account and there is a requirement to open an account with another bank. They currently have a bank account that they are banking compliant. These service users now must get passports and proof of address even though they have never left the country. They are entitled to their income benefits and citizens as citizens of the state. They now need someone to go with them to get a passport, which removes their autonomy and signing forms that they now know nothing about. Banks have got away with so much as they say goodbye to the vulnerable. A number of my constituents recently went to the bank branch as their father and mother wishes as an appointed uh, signatory on their account and was told that they would be made, made to have to make them a ward of court. This led to huge distress in the families. I am glad that a situation like this will cover off such events in the future. As I said, Minister, I, I, I welcome this bill. But for far too long, the banks have caused an awful lot of problems in this situation. I've had people for years are looking after their parents' accounts, where their parents went in, where they were starting at the early signs of dementia, where they went in and they went to the banks and they asked their advice what they would do. And they were told that they were a co-signatory, that that's fine, this is all you've got to do, and work away. And yet we have now people in the banking protocol come along and say, oh, sorry, they're now a ward of court under misinformation that the bank gave them. Now, I don't blame the banking staff. I blame the top shelf of the banking sector for not informing their staff of how to deal with this and be, have it compliant and give the proper advice to people that were caring for, for, for a person. That's where the book lies here. Yes, the government are doing something now to try and protect this going forward, but how many thousands of people in this country went to the banks and asked them for what we should do with people that were in a vulnerable state, and they knew themselves that they needed a person that they could trust? How many families went as a unit and asked the same thing and awarded somebody within their family to care for somebody as they might be in different parts of the country. So they asked a brother or a sister or an aunt or somebody to look after them and they, they went to the bank with them and said, what will you do? And they told them, this is all you need to do is to be a signatory. The banks are wrong here. And as I have stated, not the bank staff. They should have got the proper information to give to people, but they didn't. So the accountability on this, and it's another thing now that the, the, this doll and the government have to try and clean up to help people going forward, which I welcome. But we've got to make sure that the banks are also held accountable, because there's no accountability on the top shelf. They seem to put it down along the line to blame people in their own different branches. So I do hope this government holds banks 
to account and the main high level of the banking sector to account for the misinformation they've given to an awful lot of people throughout this country. We've bailed the banks out once. It's now time that the banks are accountable for the misinformation they have given to the people of Ireland. Thank you.